Hand of Fate Mystery, Episode 3. One afternoon in the year 1903, Professor Gerald Astergod, his young assistant, Curtis Wayne, in Egypt to England. To Egypt, in, e- in Egypt, to engage in archaeological digging, to discover the long buried tomb of Pharaoh Ran, Ran Tep. Little did they realize the terrible consequences of this great discovery. The jewel stood before the huge dome portal which guarded the curls of the ancient pharaoh, hieroglyphic state, usual curse of the intruders and desecrations of the tomb. You think of the man with pharaoh's head, so was not such fantastic creature should possibly have existed. The stone portal was forced open. Two archaeologists entered the tomb and chamber. The mummy of the old pharaoh ran tap. This is a great discovery, boy. Do you hear me? Is there something there? That's best, Professor. There's something back in the shadows. Suddenly from out the shadows came a horrible figure. It's him, the fantastic figure on the door of the tomb. And then in there we rage, furied and worried. Other creatures strangled the Professor. The young wait, 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 wait. What well, flared in terror. Ah! After later, Curtis returned to tomb with the native guides to relieve the tree of the body of the professor. This creature you speak of. Are you sure you saw it? Of course, I can show you exactly what it looked like. He sketched on the tomb of the door. As a well, wait, come to the door. Wait, what? A, a come, the, the creature's gone. The stonework. But how could it be? Yes, how could be a be? How could a fantastical creature, a stone door, to vanish a tomb vanish, after its strange appearance, the cursed door of random tap, even random curtis weight, who was shown to his truth, his spirit to his spirits. Normal experts, a supernatural phenomenon. have been able to clear up this mystery.